Steve Waugh's enjoying batting, certainly. And that's what ball. He touched that one. And I guess it missed the stump by a whisker. Must have gone very close to off stump. Good stroke. The outfield yesterday was a bit slow. There had been plenty of rain here over the last couple of weeks at uh, Headingley. Good shot. Fielder might just have slipped a fraction. I doubt if it had made any difference. That's four. Great shot. That was a beautiful stroke. Will be a very, very ominous sight for England's bowlers. The Carrick might shake his head. That was a glorious stroke to follow the square cut. Lovely shot. Doesn't have to be a true half volley for Steve. Wood. Another beautiful stroke. My word, he timed that well. Oh. <laughs> it looked more like it's a knockout than test cricket down there. I think they're giving four because surely they were in contact with the ball while they were over the rope or touching the rope. Got to try and think of some way of posing a different problem for the batsman. Otherwise, they get so set, so used to the bowling, everything's predictable, it becomes monotonous. And when you bowl a bad ball, they're used to the pace and everything like this, they just smash it for four. Steve Orr lashes into his. That should be it. In nearly 25 minutes, Steve Waugh's been on 98, but that's it. Lovely 100. Brother Mark. And that's his fifth 100, his third against England, all in this country. Steve Waugh scored his maiden 100 in 1989. Still to be dismissed at Headingley. Four more. It's the area from where the weather arrives. Stiff westerly breeze blowing. Hot for four. Caddick alongside umpire Harold Bird has just turned around and looked down the pitch. Just a little bit of a slump of the shoulders there. It's been a model exhibition of, of relentless batting. There's four more. Thank you. 